In this section, you must demonstrate your ability to understand spoken English. This section is divided into four parts and will take approximately 45 minutes to complete. Do not mark the answers in your test book. Use the answer sheet that is provided separately. Part 1. Directions For each question, you will listen to four short statements about a picture in your test book. These statements will not be printed and will only be spoken one time. Select the statement that best describes what is happening in the picture and mark the corresponding letter A, B, C, or D on the answer sheet. Look at the picture below. Now, listen to the four statements. A. The man is looking at the monitor. B. The man is sitting at the desk. C. The man is typing a letter. D. The man is holding a cup. The statement that best describes the picture is B. The man is sitting at the desk. So you should mark letter B on the answer sheet. Now, Part 1 will begin. Number 1. Look at the picture marked number 1 in your test book. A. He's facing a closed window. B. He is painting a portion of the wall. C. He's repositioning a stepladder. D. He's extending his arms upward. Number 2. Look at the picture marked number two in your test book. A. One of the women is cleaning a counter. B. One of the women is filling plates with cupcakes. C. One of the women is lifting a cup. D. One of the women is taking baked goods out of a kitchen. Number 3. Look at the picture marked number 3 in your test book. A. A woman has her hand on a computer. B. They're studying X-ray images. C. A man is turning on a screen. D. Some people are filing a document. Number 4. Look at the picture marked number four in your test book. A. She's paying for some jewellery at a checkout. B. She's trying on a necklace in a boutique. C. She's carrying a handbag on her shoulder. D. She's assembling one of the store shelves. Number five. Look at the picture marked number 5 in your test book. A. Umbrellas have been unfolded above the tables. B. A cruise ship has stopped in the harbour. C. A set of patio furniture is being placed on a vessel. D. Street lamps circle an outdoor dining area. Number 6. Look at the picture marked number six in your test book. A. A statue has been situated in a plaza. B. A group of people is sitting on the steps. C. A structure is being reflected in a window. D. A building is being constructed by a work crew. Part 2 Directions. For each question, you will listen to a statement or question followed by three possible responses spoken in English. They will not be printed and will only be spoken one time. Select the best response and mark the corresponding letter A, B, or C on your answer sheet. Now, let us begin with question number seven. Number seven. How many people are we expecting for our performances on Sunday? A. 100 for each show. B. They'll be here at 8. C. We've performed it many times. 
Number eight. Brad, can you set up the dining room for a dinner? A. Yes, it was delicious. B. Not particularly. C. Sure, in a bit. Number nine. Who moved the boxes from the front door? A. I'm sure it's in the back room. B. I'll do it right after the snow stops. C. I saw Isaac doing it this morning. Number ten. My medical checkup is at four forty, but I won't finish work until five today. A. At Queen's Hospital. B. That's a problem. C. You need to make sure you're qualified. Number eleven. Would you prefer to rent a sedan or a larger vehicle? A. I've run out of gas. B. The rental fee is negotiable. C. We require a van to fit everyone. Number twelve. Why has our director been out of the office all morning? A. Around seven o'clock. B. She's attending a workshop. C. Yes, your directions were useful. Number thirteen. Does the cleaning service send us monthly bills? A. Yes, on the first. B. It's fine to pay with a credit card. C. I spent fifty dollars last month. Number fourteen. When do you want me to restock the shelves? A. No, I think it is on the bottom shelf. B. Before taking your lunch break. C. In the storage room. Number fifteen. How often do you go to Tokyo on business trips? A. It's an event occurring in Tokyo. B. An agent will plan the trip. C. We no longer have a branch in that city. Number sixteen. Who should I submit my employment application to? A. The woman behind the reception desk. B. You should include a resume and cover letter. C. The position won't be vacant for another two weeks. Number seventeen. Why don't we ask the baker to recommend a high-quality bread flour? A. No, we've already arrived. B. I bought some cakes. C. Yes, that would be helpful. Number eighteen. Would you organize the museum's charity luncheon? A. We received a generous donation. B. It would be my pleasure. C. No, I don't need a ride. Number nineteen. You've reserved your seat for the concert already, haven't you? A. I should be ready by six p.m. B. I'm going to do it now. C. No, it'll be my first time playing there. Number twenty. What is the company's reason for recalling the vehicle? A. No, I didn't receive a full refund. B. Consumers are reporting faulty brakes. C. They should be brought back to the store. Number twenty-one. The conference on business strategies is going to be postponed. A. Across from the convention center. B. That strategy was very effective. C. Oh, I didn't know that.
Number 22. Where did you put our flight tickets to Vancouver? A. I left them in my desk drawer. B. We need to hurry to catch the flight. C. I made a reservation this morning. Number 23. Didn't the guests in suite 234 request room service? A. The kitchen staff will know. B. They have checked in. C. It's bigger than I had expected. Number 24. Which shirts are currently on sale? A. Yes, 75% off. B. All of the ones on this rack. C. Let's go shopping at the Riverton Mall. Number 25. Why do you want to return this table? A. Thanks. I'll exchange it later. B. My turn is coming up next. C. It's too big for my living room. Number 26. I've decided which apartment I'm going to lease when I move to Madrid. A. I knew you were unhappy with your landlord. B. Great, that's one major decision. C. They're trying to sell their house. Number 27. When will we leave for the company picnic? A. At 10 45 this morning. B. I went to work yesterday. C. At the Central Park subway station. Number 28. Should we stay at the beach or head back to the hotel? A. Some extra beach towels. B. Okay, if you're done swimming. C. Let's relax here a bit longer. Number 29. Hasn't the technician fixed our network yet? A. We met him at the networking event. B. No, he's still working on it. C. I'm glad we solved it together. Number 30. Do you know who the woman delivering the welcome address is? A. Yes, it was delivered to my home last week. B. Her name is Kate Wong, the event organizer. C. I think it's on 17th Street. Number 31. The Boston Herald reports that the Eastwood Public Library is closed for renovations. A. Have you completed the report? B. I have to renew my card next month. C. Really? When will it reopen? Part 3 Directions In this part, you will listen to several conversations between two or more speakers. These conversations will not be printed and will only be spoken one time. For each conversation, You will be asked to answer three questions. Select the best response and mark the corresponding letter A, B, C, or D on your answer sheet. Questions 32 through 34 refer to the following conversation Hello, my name is Vanessa Johnson, and I'm calling because I want to report an error in your newspaper. What mistake did you discover, Ms. Johnson? Well, I'm the owner of the vitamin and supplement store called Lancaster Health and Nutrition. Yesterday, you published an article about our new branch that's going to open in Dalton Plaza next week. But the article said it's opening next month. Oh, I'm very sorry. I'll be certain to notify our news editor immediately. Once he verifies the misprint, I'm sure he'll arrange for a correction to be posted in tomorrow's edition. Number 32. Who is the woman?
Number 33. What information was incorrectly printed? Number 34. What does the man offer to do? Questions 35 through 37 refer to the following conversation. It appears that we need more meals for tonight's year-end corporate dinner party. Seven of our employees brought additional guests, but the cooks only prepared enough food for the confirmed number of guests. Hmm, that's odd. I was in charge of keeping track of the guest list, and just one person contacted me today to say that he was bringing an extra person with him. Maybe some of them changed their minds at the last minute. Anyway, could you ask the chef to make a few more dishes? Sure. I'll head to the kitchen and find out if he can do that. Number 35. What type of event is taking place today? Number 36. What was the man responsible for? Number 37. What will the man probably do next? Questions 38 through 40 refer to the following conversation. Shannon, I noticed that you ride your bike to work. Did you know that some of the people in our department have formed a bicycle group? Really? I hadn't heard that. Can you tell me more about it? Well, we meet every Saturday and go on long rides together. Some of us just enjoy the workout, while others are training for competitive events. Of course, participating in races isn't a requirement for biking with us. Great. I was a bit concerned. As I'm not a very experienced rider, I'm not interested in competing. But I do like the idea of getting some exercise. How do I join? I'll email you the registration form this afternoon. Number 38. What is the conversation mainly about? Number 39. What does the woman mean when she says, I was a bit concerned. Number 40. What does the man say he will do this afternoon? Questions 41 through 43 refer to the following conversation. After this morning's new recruit orientation, you said that you'd provide me with a list of the names of the new employees from each department. But the one you sent me was from the last orientation instead. Sorry about that. Is it okay if I get you the correct one later? I must go to an important lunch meeting with the funders of our new building project right now, so I don't have enough time at the moment. That's fine. Just remember to get it to me before you leave the office today. I'll need to enter their contact information into our database before I publish the new employee directory on Wednesday. I won't forget. Number 41. What is the problem? Number 42. Where does the woman have to go? Number 43. What does the man plan to do on Wednesday? Questions 44 through 46 refer to the following conversation. You want to see me, Ms. Collins? Yes. Many customers have provided negative feedback about the XLNC solar clocks. I'm a little worried. They say their machines aren't charging properly which causes them to stop functioning after just a few days. 
Bill Johnson from our engineering team and I recently tested 200 random units. They all worked perfectly. So, my guess is that consumers aren't using the devices properly. I think we need to clarify our user manual. I see. We should also post information about it on our website. Can you please make a draft of that? OK. When do you want this done by? Early enough so that I can skim through it before my shift ends today. Number 44. What is the woman concerned about? Number 45. What did the man recently do? Number 46. What does the man ask about? Questions 47 through 49 refer to the following conversation. Excuse me, I'd like some assistance. I need to have 100 wedding invitations printed, but I'm not sure which type of paper to use. I want the invitations to look nice but also be durable. Do you have any recommendations? I suggest trying our store's glossy cardstock. This high-quality paper is very strong, so it doesn't tear easily. It'd be ideal if you intend to deliver the invitations through the mail. That sounds perfect. How much will the order cost? Well, each sheet of cardstock costs 50 cents to print, and you can fit two invitations per sheet, so your grand total will be $25. Number 47. Where most likely is the conversation taking place? Number 48. What does the man ask the woman to do? Number 49. What information does the woman provide the man with? Questions 50 through 52 refer to the following conversation. Hello. I read about the fitness courses your business offers in a flyer. I'm interested in the weight training class. When is it held? That one is held once a week on Saturday from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. in our largest room. We used to offer a second session at 7 p.m., but not many people signed up, so we decided to cancel it. Oh, that's okay. I wasn't planning on coming in then anyway. The earlier option should work for me, so I'd like to know a bit more about the details of the session. Would you like me to grab you an informational pamphlet? It'll explain everything you need to know. Number 50. Why does the man visit the business? Number 51. Why was the evening class cancelled? Number 52. What does the woman offer to do? Questions 53 through 55 refer to the following conversation with three speakers. Excuse me, I've come to your office because I received a service request from Sarah Long. Yes, um, her desk is next to mine. Sarah, the repair person from Raymond is here to fix the water cooler. Oh, sorry, I was just finishing up a conference call. Anyway, the cooler is right here behind my desk. Water is leaking from the device's spout, right? Yeah, I noticed it dripping this morning. Hmm, the spout isn't working correctly and needs to be replaced. Okay. However, before you begin, I've got to notify the building manager that a repair is going to be made. Janice, what is Mr. Renner's extension? It's 6849. I'll call him and tell him for you. Great. I appreciate it. 
Number 53. Who most likely is the man? Number 54. What problem does the man mention? Number 55. Why will Janice call the building manager? Questions 56 through 58 refer to the following conversation. Hello, my name is Annabelle Christensen. I'm here to check in for the 5.40 p.m. flight to London. I have my passport and ticket here. I'm sorry, you've arrived too late, Miss Christensen. Check in for that flight closed 20 minutes ago. There won't be enough time for you to reach the gate before takeoff. Oh, no. I was worried this was going to happen. Seeing as my taxi was stuck in traffic on the way here, are there any other flights today that I can take instead? Yes, we still have seats available on the one that leaves at 10:30 p.m. For a $100 fee, I can update your reservation and issue you another ticket. Number 56. Where most likely are the speakers? Number 57. Why is the woman unable to board? Number 58. What does the man offer to do? Questions 59 through 61 refer to the following conversation. Hi, Nicholas. I thought you were supposed to leave for Toronto on Monday to get together with some prospective clients. Are you no longer going? I still am, but I had to postpone my departure on short notice. Now I'll be leaving on Friday evening and coming back next Tuesday. Oh, no. That can't be good for a first meeting. How'd your clients react? Clients usually don't like last minute changes like that. I explained to them that a problem arose with another advertising campaign. I told them I needed to be here to help resolve it before tomorrow's deadline. Fortunately, they said it wasn't an issue. Number 59. What is mentioned about the man's trip? Number 60. What does the woman mean when she says, How'd your clients react? Number 61. What needs to be completed by tomorrow? Questions 62 through 64 refer to the following conversation. Hello, Miss Law. My name is Lance Grainer, and I am organizing a conference in April for young professionals who are just entering the field of finance. As you are an investment consultant for a respected firm, I am calling to offer you a paid speaking opportunity at the conference. Well, I'll be unavailable in early April as I'm planning to visit one of our offices abroad during that time. However, as long as the event takes place after April 15th, I can participate. Hmm. Never mind then. It'll likely occur on April 4th, but I'll contact you if we have other speaking opportunities in the future. Number 62. Who most likely is the woman? Number 63. What will the woman do in April? Number 64. Why does the man say, Never mind then? Questions 65 through 67 refer to the following conversation and program. 
The opening week of the restaurant was rather successful, wouldn't you say? Absolutely. We exceeded our expected guest numbers, and the restaurant was fully booked last weekend. Yeah, and many of the people who came said they were going to post about our restaurant on their social networking pages. That's great publicity. Also, our publicist Harold Newman will be appearing on Morning Buzz tomorrow. That will be sure to build even more positive public attention for us. Really, I heard that he was going to be on mornings with Jerry. No, he is only scheduled for one program. Our manager will appear on the show you mentioned. Number sixty-five. Who most likely are the speakers? Number sixty-six. According to the woman, what happened last weekend? Number sixty-seven. Look at the graphic. Which channel will Harold Newman appear on? Question sixty-eight through seventy refer to the following conversation and coupon. Miss Barton, I'm done measuring the existing windows in your home. Now let's look at some options for new ones. Well, I'm quite fond of these windows with awnings. Would it be possible to have those installed? Sure. Um, given the size of the space, it would cost approximately three hundred dollars to purchase the windows and have them installed. That's just an estimate, of course. Okay. I also have a coupon for twenty percent off for first-time customers. Will that be applicable? I'm sorry. But that promotion isn't um it isn't valid for purchases made from our store. You'll have to visit another location. Number sixty-eight. Where most likely is the conversation taking place? Number sixty-nine. What information does the man provide the woman with? Number seventy. Look at the graphic. Which location does the man most likely work in? Part four. Directions. In this part, you will listen to several short talks by a single speaker. These talks will not be printed and will only be spoken one time. For each talk, you will be asked to answer three questions. Select the best response and mark the corresponding letter A, B, C, or D on your answer sheet. Questions seventy-one through seventy-three refer to the following telephone message. Good afternoon, Mr. Jackson. This is Claudia Omar from Proactive Insurance, responding to the voicemail you left me yesterday. You mentioned you'd like to learn more about motorcycle insurance. Well, our most popular plan is the Platinum Protection Package, which provides you up to two hundred and fifty thousand dollars in coverage, and I think it would be your best choice. The premium for the plan varies considerably depending on the motorbike you have, so I'll need to know the brand and model of your bike before I can give you an accurate quote. Please call me back today with those details if you can. Thanks. Number seventy-one. What is the purpose of the message? Number seventy-two. What detail does the speaker need? Number seventy-three. What does the speaker ask the listener to do? Questions seventy-four through seventy-six refer to the following talk. 
I appreciate you joining us at Fradston Pharmaceuticals Media Event. I'm delighted to be here today as Fradston's newly appointed Chief Executive Officer to announce our intention to build a new research center in downtown Atlanta. This center will serve as the hub for all of our medical research and is scheduled to open in nine months. The facility is expected to contribute to the creation of over 200 new jobs. More details about these will be posted on our website at a later date. We at Fradston hope that this development will solidify the company's position as the nation's top provider of pharmaceutical products. Number 74. Where most likely is the talk taking place? Number 75. According to the speaker, what will happen in nine months? Number 76. What will be added to the company website? Questions 77 through 79 refer to the following recorded message. You have reached Cedar Kitchen, Houston's number one spot for contemporary dining. As our staff is participating in the Southwestern Food Festival June 8th and June 9th, we will be closing at 1 p.m. each day. Our normal hours of operation of 11 a.m. to 10 p.m. will resume on Wednesday, June 10th. We greatly appreciate your patience in this matter. For details about menu offerings, please press 1. For reservations, press 2 and record your contact information and desired reservation time after the tone. Specific details regarding the Southwestern Food Festival may be obtained by visiting our website. Number 77. When will the store return to its regular hours? Number 78. What should listeners do to make a reservation? Number 79. Why should listeners visit a website? Questions 80 through 82 refer to the following announcement. The company has developed a new application for employees to easily navigate our intranet system from their smartphones. I accessed some sales and personnel records with it yesterday and it was very easy to use. It will allow our sales team members to view their client records while visiting customers out of the office. I think everyone will be happy with it. The application's creator, Jay Kim, has volunteered to give everyone a tutorial this afternoon. You won't need to set aside much time for this. 20 minutes should be enough. It will be held in room 230 at 3. Number 80. What is the announcement mainly about? Number 81. What does J. Kim offer to do? Number 82. What does the speaker mean when he says, 20 minutes should be enough? Questions 83 through 85 refer to the following talk. Hello, and welcome to our annual two-day seminar on project management. This year's event promises to be very special as we have a wide range of speakers. Now, I'd like to give you some information about our schedule. We are going to focus on planning and implementing projects for the first day and on evaluating results for the second. Both days will follow the same basic pattern. The mornings are going to begin with presentations by experienced project managers and end with panel discussions and question and answer sessions. In the afternoons, We'll break into small groups to develop action plans for specific projects. 
Okay. My assistant will now hand out information packets that contain details about what will be covered during the seminar. Number 83. What is the purpose of the talk? Number 84. According to the speaker, what will take place in the afternoons? Number 85. What will be provided to the listeners? Questions 86 through 88 refer to the following broadcast. In business news, the multinational technology company Core Resources has announced that its CEO, Kerry Rose, will be stepping down from her position at the end of May. Under Ms. Rose's leadership, the company grew to be the world's third largest software developer and it now employs over 15,000 staff members. According to industry insiders, a replacement has already been selected. While Core Resources has yet to release the person's name to the public, and most likely won't do so until closer to Ms. Rose's departure, some analysts are speculating about who the next leader of the company might be. One widely discussed candidate is Dale Fenny, the company's chief financial officer for the past five years. Number 86. What will most likely happen at the end of May? Number 87. What does the speaker imply when he says it now employs over 15,000 staff members? Number 88. What is mentioned about Dale Fenny? Questions 89 through 91 refer to the following advertisement. If you're tired of shoveling snow from your driveway or sidewalk, then contact Harford Snow today. For a flat monthly fee, you will never have to worry about doing this again. At Harford, we pride ourselves on our efficiency and reliability, which is why we guarantee that the snow will be removed from your property within four hours after a snowfall ends. If our workers ever arrive late, you will not be charged for that month. And for a small additional fee, we will use salt to get rid of the ice on all your walkways. Visit us at www.harfordsnow.com for a list of the areas that we operate in and over 100 testimonials from satisfied customers. Number 89. What does Harford Snow promise to do? Number 90. According to the speaker, what service is available for an extra fee? Number 91. What information might listeners get on the company's website? Questions 92 through 94 refer to the following broadcast and graph. Stay tuned for Carl Lewis's Daily Business Report. Joining Carl tonight for a rare television interview will be Francine Austin. She is the managing editor of the fashion and design publication Currents. They're going to talk about the online version of the magazine that was launched earlier this year. It has proven to be very successful as the number of new subscribers to Currents increased for two consecutive months after the site became active. This success is attributed to Ms. Austin's development of a subscription model that provides access to the print and digital versions for one low fee. They'll discuss this in depth when we return from a commercial break. Number 92. Who is Francine Austin? Number 93. Look at the graphic. 
Which month was the digital version of Currents launched? Number 94. What will be discussed during the interview? Questions 95 through 97 refer to the following talk and map. Okay, we're ready to begin our tour of Westfield Botanical Park. But first, I'd like to apologize for the delay. The tour bus that will be transporting our group had an engine problem, but it is operational now. Please turn your attention to the map in the brochure you received earlier, and I will go over our route. We'll follow the main road from here at the visitor's center and go past the lily pond and visit the orchid house and the bamboo jungle. Since we won't have time to visit both of the remaining attractions today, we'll take the most direct way back to the visitor's center. When we reach the center, we'll provide each of you with a complimentary gift from our gift shop to express our appreciation for your patience. Now, let's begin. Number 95. Why was the tour delayed? Number 96. Look at the graphic. Which area will the group not be able to visit? Number 97. What will the listeners receive at the Visitor's Center? Questions 98 through 100 refer to the following telephone message and schedule. Hello, my name is Alice Warren and I'm registered for the Student Employment Workshop that will be held at the Westwood Employment Center on Saturday. I'm very excited about this because I plan to begin searching for a summer internship in early May, once I've finished my final exams at the end of April. But there's one problem. I have to meet with my professor to discuss an assignment that day. Um, it slipped my mind when I signed up for the workshop yesterday. Would it be a problem if I skip one of the sessions? I would leave at noon and be back just after two. Please call me at 555 4938 to let me know if this is allowed. Thanks. Number 98. What does the speaker plan to do in April? Number 99. What problem does the speaker mention? Number 100. Look at the graphic. Which session will the speaker probably miss? Number 1. A. He's facing a closed window. B. He's painting a portion of the wall. C. He's repositioning a stepladder. D. He's extending his arms upward. Number 2. A. One of the women is cleaning a counter. B. One of the women is filling plates with cupcakes. C. One of the women is lifting a cup. D. One of the women is taking baked goods out of a kitchen. Number 3. A. A woman has her hand on a computer. B. They're studying X-ray images. C. A man is turning on a screen. D. Some people are filing a document. Number 4. A. She's paying for some jewellery at a checkout. B. She's trying on a necklace in a boutique. C. 
She's carrying a handbag on her shoulder. D. She's assembling one of the store shelves. Number 5. A. Umbrellas have been unfolded above the tables. B. A cruise ship has stopped in the harbour. C. A set of patio furniture is being placed on a vessel. D. Street lamps circle an outdoor dining area. Number 6. A. A statue has been situated in a plaza. B. A group of people is sitting on the steps. C. A structure is being reflected in a window. D. A building is being constructed by a work crew. Number 7. How many people are we expecting for our performances on Sunday? A. 100 for each show. B. They'll be here at 8. C. We've performed it many times. Number 8. Brad, can you set up the dining room for a dinner? A. Yes, it was delicious. B. Not particularly. C. Sure, in a bit. Number 9. Who moved the boxes from the front door? A. I'm sure it's in the back room. B. I'll do it right after the snow stops. C. I saw Isaac doing it this morning. Number 10. My medical checkup is at 4.40, but I won't finish work until 5 today. A. At Queen's Hospital. B. That's a problem. C. You need to make sure you're qualified. Number 11. Would you prefer to rent a sedan or a larger vehicle? A. I've run out of gas. B. The rental fee is negotiable. C. We require a van to fit everyone. Number 12. Why has our director been out of the office all morning? A. Around 7 o'clock. B. She's attending a workshop. C. Yes, your directions were useful. Questions 98 through 100 refer to the following telephone message and schedule. Hello, my name is Alice Warren and I'm registered for the student employment workshop that will be held at the Westwood Employment Centre on Saturday. I'm very excited about this because I plan to begin searching for a summer internship in early May, once I've finished my final exams at the end of April. But there's one problem. I have to meet with my professor to discuss an assignment that day. Um, it slipped my mind when I signed up for the workshop yesterday. Would it be a problem if I skip one of the sessions? I would leave at noon and be back just after two. Please call me at 555-4938 to let me know if this is allowed. Thanks. Number 98. What does the speaker plan to do in April? Number 99. What problem does the speaker mention? Number 100. Look at the graphic. Which session will the speaker probably miss?